Hi, my name is Alan Stafford. I'm a communication artist and uh, photographer. And I'm going to show you in this uh, tutorial how to create sunbeams that are shining through uh, trees, just like um, this image right here. Looks like I got up in the morning and went out to the woods and set up my camera and actually uh, took the photograph. But I'm going to show you how to do it without having to get up in the morning and having to haul your equipment up into the woods. Uh, but what you do need is a, uh, is a picture of uh, something similar to this here with the trees and uh, some skies coming through the trees here. You don't want a whole lot, but just enough that uh, will be effective. Once you have your picture open, uh, go ahead and uh, come on over here to the channels palette. If you cannot find your channels palette, which is uh, typically between the layers tab and the paths tab, go ahead and come up to your window menu. Come down here to where it says channels, click and your channels palette will appear. Now what we're going to do is find the um, the greatest uh, or the contrast or the best contrast between the trees and the sky. So we want the greatest distinction and contrast between the uh, the trees and the sky. So what we'll do is we'll toggle through our uh, channels here. We have the red channel. It's uh, uh, not as contrasty as I would like. Uh, the green channel looks pretty good. But let's check the blue channel out. And it looks like the blue channel probably has the best contrast uh, that's, uh, between the uh, sky and the actual leaves. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a, a duplicate blue channel um, because we're going to be using the blue channel uh, for this lesson. We can right click on the channel and, and hit duplicate channel. Or we can uh, actually come down here to our new channels uh, icon, drag our channel onto it, and come back up here and see we've created a blue copy okay so now what we're gonna do next if you're on the Mac um, you can hit uh, shift delete we'll bring up the uh, the fill dialog box let's move this over here the fill dialog box if you're on the uh, PC you can hit uh, shift backspace it'll bring up the same dialog box and what we're gonna do is we're gonna set our, our set our contents to black our blending mode to uh, overlay and it set at 100% hit OK and look what happens our entire image is filled with black now we have some issues down here in the bottom of the image where we have some white uh, I don't want that there because what will happen is uh, I'll have sun rays coming from the rocks and that would be a very natural looking photo but we'll fix that in a second what we're gonna do next is actually uh, do the same thing hit uh, on the Mac, Shift Delete. On the PC, you're going to hit uh, Shift Backspace. This time, we're going to fill that same, the same uh, blue channel, the copy, with uh, white. We're going to leave it to Overlay. Hit OK, and notice that the whites got wider, and even the lighter grays turn white. And we still have all this white down here, which we're going to eliminate right now. Uh, if you have an image that has a lot of white in the uh, base here, you're going to want to get rid of that. So we grab our paintbrush, and I'm going to grab my pen tool here and uh, my pen tablet tool and just go ahead and fill in the black just like this eliminate that get some of this bark in here and over here and up in here okay and there we go we've uh, completed that now what we're gonna do is come back up come to our layers click on our image and we're gonna come down here to the new layers uh, icon click that and we've created a new layer, an empty layer. That's where we're going to create the effect. We're going to load our uh, blue copy channel. We're going to go uh, see select load selection. You get the uh, load selection dialog box. And right down here where it says channel, click, and we're going to see the blue copy. Let it go. Keep everything else the same. Hit OK. Notice we have um, our dancing ants or our selection right here. What we're going to do is call up the fill box again. Remember, shift delete on the Mac. On the PC, it's shift backspace. We're going to fill it with white, and yours should still be set to white. But this time, we're going to take it from overlay all the way up to normal. Hit OK, and notice it fills it. We have white in the sky, and it's on our um, newly made layer above our image here. Now what we're going to do is actually create the effect. So we're going to go to Filter, Blur, and we're going to use the uh, Radio Blur command here. Let's bring this over here. 
set our amount to 100%. We don't want it to spin. We want it to zoom. Uh, set our quality to best. Now notice there's crosshairs here in our uh, little uh, visual box. Unfortunately, there is no preview. So as we move it, we're not going to be able to see a preview uh, happening on our actual image. So we're going to have to kind of eyeball it. We'll click the little crosshair, drag, and move up to where I think the sun should be uh, coming from, which I'm thinking right in here. And so this kind of corresponds to that same location. If we don't get it right the first time, we'll just undo it and do it again. So let's hit OK, try it. And that did not work. Let's uh, try that again. Filter. Um, blur. Uh, radio blur. And we have it set to that. Everything is fine. Let's try it again. Ah, uh, there we go. And that looks pretty good on the first try. Now, what we're going to do is uh, intensify our sun uh, beam here. Instead of leaving it white, I'm going to increase it, uh, the saturation and uh, add some color to it. So what we'll do, still on layer 2 here, our uh, effects layer that we've created, we're going to come down here to the effects uh, button, come up to um, outer glow, and notice we get the uh, layer style dialog box. Let's move this over here so we can see. And notice we have a little bit of a uh, yellow in our sunburst. We can, uh, we're can we going to leave it to screen. We can change our opacity where we lighten it a little bit. Move it up here a little bit more. Uh, or we can intensify it by increasing the opacity. It doesn't look very realistic. So we'll just kind of bring it back a little bit. The size, if you wanted to play with the size a little bit. Notice how it intensifies. Bring back my opacity a little bit. Hit OK. And there we go. We have sunbeams coming through the